Okay, this video is just to demonstrate the basics of eSword. Uh, this, the part really that we're going to be using in class and how to use it. We'll be showing you a couple other things. But when you open it up on your desktop or laptop, you're going to get this tip of the day, which is all very useful. Okay, so this is in uh, the you see the four squares here and so whatever window you want you can come up here you have the Bible the Strong's will appear down here these are commentaries and if you want to do study notes then the B um, that's the Bible C is commentary D is um, the dictionaries and E is your study notes so you can have those up individually if you want uh, there's a lot in here that is very, very useful. I don't utilize it. I'm a very much a pen and paper person. But if you, there's also, if you go to help, it has an eSource user guide. And that will give you everything that you would need to, if you want to um, dive into this deeper. Because it is a very useful computer program. So over here... You're going to have the books of the Bible. Um, so just click on any book and it brings up the chapters. Okay, so Lamentations has five chapters. Matthew has 28 chapters. Um, if, so if you're looking by book, you just come and you click on the book that you want. Scroll down. And then if you know the chapter you want, you just go to chapter. The click on the chapter and it appears right here. Okay, and then the commentary appears right here okay I don't have any study notes so I've never used this feature so if you click on a strong so when you run your cursor over a, a strong number you see the definition in the yellow box but when you click on it it appears down here okay so that way you can click on this other number or run your cursor over it and it gives you the definition Many definitions, um, Hebrew and Greek, it will say comes from this number, comes from this. Um, it just depends on how deep you really want to get into it. Like I said, for this class, um, we're using pretty simple definitions. Um, it takes a while to, you know, as you study. I still, you know, I'll look back on my notes and be like... Um, that was the wrong definition or that was the wrong thought there you know so like uh, like I've always said Bible study takes patience practice time and effort so it takes practice because we're gonna mess up okay that's just you know that's gonna happen um, it takes patience because we want to give up when we mess up um, or when it when it's hard um, it takes time, not, and when I mean time, I don't mean time frame. I mean, it takes time to learn. It takes time to, you know, understand, okay? And then, of course, the effort. We have to continue to bring forth the effort um, to learn about the Bible. So, that's just, so this this will be the view if you have the, the four squares up here. Uh, this is basically what we'll probably be using for class but like so you see verse 1 highlighted that's what the verse is over here the commentaries these are commentaries that I've downloaded and I'll go through that in a little bit but any commentary that has like a little i for the verse that will that means that they actually have a comment on it and it looks like everyone up here has a comment on it so um Maybe Haggai. Okay, see, some of these have gone away. So Adam Clark and Albert Burns doesn't have any, um, Barnes doesn't have any comments on it. Okay, so that's what that is. So this is your search. This is your search bar, okay? So you're going to click on the binoculars, and a box will come up. And so. One of the words in John 15 was abide. So we're going to type in abide. Okay. We want the KJV plus because the KJV plus is the strong numbers. I'll show you over here. 
Uh, so if I was to click on just the KJV, it takes away the strong numbers. All right. So um, same down here. You have it here, but we want the plus when we're doing word searches. So we have the definitions. When you have one word in here, it searched for all the words. You can search the entire Bible. You can search Old Testament. You can search, a, you know, like a the books. You can search New Testament and the books. We are just looking for New Testament for these four words. And then after you get all that done, you just click the binoculars over here. And all the words of abide come up. 28 verses found, 32 matches. The 32 matches means that um, there's some verses in here that have have the word more than once. That's all that means. Okay, so now we want the word abide, but any derivative also, like any suffixes. Like, So we would put abide and space bar abides, space bar and abideth. Okay, when you're doing... King James, you always have to have the E-T-H. Because many words end with that. Um, that just shows you... That's, a, that's a, the person they're talking to you and it's a grammar thing. So anyways... Um, so you see that you can type in more than one word. But when you do that, you have to come over here and bring this down and say search for any of the words. Okay? So, and then you always have to, if you're doing a new search, you always have to hit the binoculars. So we see that if we add these three words, these two words, now we have 45 verses and 52 matches. Okay? So if, um, if you don't bring this to any of, wor any of the words when there's more than one word, no search will come up. Okay? So just to let you know that. Um... And then, also, if you look at the word abide, it has the same number all the way through, okay? 3306, 3306, okay? Uh, abide, continue, dwell, endure, be present, remain, all right? So, you can click on that, and it comes over here, too. All right, so... Let's do love. Love would be love, space, loves, loved, and loveth. Okay. Um, search for any of the words. Come over here. And we have 196 verses that we're going to be looking through. Okay. 256 matches. Many verses have more than one. Uh, the many verses have the word in it more than once. Okay, so that's that's how you do a word search on here. Um, like I said, it's pretty simple. That's why I like it. And so that's what we'll be doing in class. Now you can do a word search on if you have it downloaded on your phone or iPad. You can do a word search on those. You just I tell people to download it on the computer and laptop because it does have it does have a lot more features than the app does not have. Okay, so if you do have it downloaded as an app, you can still type in more than one word and all the it will it will come up. So um, don't worry about that if that's what you're using for class. All right, so. If you come over here to download and click on that, you can download Bibles, commentaries, dictionaries, devotions, graphics, and reference books. Okay, so that's these are these are all the commentaries that I have downloaded. I don't use all of them. Some of them I was just trying, you know, looking at, getting an idea, and then I found out I don't like a lot of them. I've actually have taken some of these off, but the main ones that I use, I would say almost every time I'm looking at a commentary would be Albert Barnes. Adam Clark, David Kuzak, and Matthew Henry, and or the pulpit, okay? Um, when you're looking at commentaries, you always want to find at least three 
that give the same opinion. Because remember, when you're looking at commentaries, you are looking at man's opinion. Okay. Um, so if if you are if you find two that match, you know, in their opinion and it looks good, and then you click on another one and they just are like way out there or give a different opinion, I wouldn't even go there. Okay. So my rule of thumb is anyways is if there's at least three commentaries or commentators that give the same opinion. Of course, it, you know, it's going to vary in wording and stuff, but give the same opinion, then you're pretty good to go on what they have to say. Okay. Uh, so if you go to download, um, it gives you a whole list. So if you keep scrolling, it does get to premium. Okay, so if you want these, you have to pay for them. But all these that say download are free. Okay, I've only downloaded the KJV and the KJV Plus. Um, but I know many, many people look at other versions. Um, and then eSword. So all you do is you would just um, click on the actual um, title. And then down here, it's downloading and this little green bar will tell you when it's done okay so when you do download you can do as many downloads as you want but when you get done downloading you have to restart all right so yeah see um so that you just you have to basically just click out of it and then um get into it again okay um you don't have to do that per download, but just to show you, like now I have the AFV, I don't know what that is, and then the ESV, okay? So if you click compare, it will bring all of them up at once so you can actually see it side by side what each verse is saying. So that's helpful for people that want to study out of different versions and just get a comparison. Um, parallel, it just looks like it does one verse at a time. Um, but the compare is all of it together. So let's go back to download commentaries. Okay. Like I said, you have a whole list that you can download and then you get to the premium. Um, the ones that I actually recommend would be Adam Clark, Albert Barnes, Matthew Henry. You have the commentary on the whole Bible and the concise commentary. Just a little, it's condensed. Um, and the pulpit commentary okay I do like now these are all older because if you go over here and look at the dates 1847 Matthew Henry was 1708 um, it's always better to look at the older things because of just you know the Bible the people have been trying to change the Bibles and all the misinterpretations that are out there so definitely I would not look at anything uh, beyond probably 1940s or 50s, really. Not not that they're all bad, but you just have to be more careful about, you know, what what they're writing. Okay, um, one newer one I do like is John is David Kuzak's, and I do have that installed. Okay, he's 2020. The main reason I like him is because in his commentaries, he quotes the older people. Okay. Um, so that's one reason I, I do like him. So I think he's okay. Um, but like I said, you know, the more you're in the word yourself and not looking just at commentaries, God gives you discernment. Commentary should actually be the last thing that we look at when we're studying. Okay. We have dictionaries. Um, I, I only have the Strong's and I guess I downloaded the Smith's dictionary. But some of these are actually pretty good to download. The Brown Driver Briggs Hebrew, um, the Mount the Mounts Concise Greek English Dictionary, and then this is something you definitely want to. You could also have this one is also an app on your phone or tablet. Webster's Dictionary of American English, eighteen twenty eight. So that's the first one that was ever made. This really lines up well with Scripture and it gives Scripture references. Okay, um, I have this downloaded on my other devices, so I never downloaded it here. Um, Vine's Complete Expository. So these are actually, some of these were, were are actually things that I was going to recommend. So 
If you want to bring it up in, on eSword, you have it. So Vine's Complete Expository, Nelson's New Illustrated Bible Dictionary. Um, so all those are good. And it's going to tell me to restart it again. So I'll try not to do that anymore. All right, so um, that was commentaries, dictionaries. It has devotions. Um, okay, I just have a Charles Spurgeon devotion downloaded, but it has all these other ones. Here's the date that they were published. It has graphics. Um, we will be looking at some graphics. Um, you ladies can take a look at these. I don't think the picture in them is too great, but... Um, if, if this is all you have, then, you know, that's fine too. And then reference books. Many, many reference books. Download for free. Purchase. Okay. Again, look at the, you know, we, we are tending to look at more of the modern day writers. Um, I actually would stay away from a lot of the modern day, day writers. Um, of course... People that wrote back then, you know, it's not harder English, but it's, you know, it's just the way they wrote things was, you know, in, in our day and age, it's kind of harder to understand or to keep focused. But ladies, if you can, um, just ask the Lord to help you. And if you read some of these books, it's going to really help. So Andrew Murray, anything by Andrew Murray is good. Um, F.B. Meyer, Arthur Pink up here. Um, EM Bounds. Okay, so I'd go through there. Um, like I said, I have this downloaded on my laptop. So it's not downloaded on, on my desktop here. But a lot of these are downloaded. Um, and then... Okay, those are for purchase. So you have a lot of... You have a lot of things that you can download and look at. Just just in eSword. And all, and all that's free. Okay. Um... So that's the basics of eSword and what we're going to be doing with it. So when we do when uh, when we do class, we're just going to open up the search window, which is the binocular here, binoculars here, okay, and then type in our word or words, and then it will come up, okay. Um, so if you've already had this figure out, great. If this has helped in any way. Um, that's great too. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, we'll be looking. We'll when we get to class on Monday, we'll see if everybody is is hooked up and ready to go. But I think that's all I need to show you, um, especially for class purposes. Like I said, class purposes is just going to be the search uh, for the most part. Uh, but this is. For anything else you want to study, this is a very useful tool. So with that, I will close this out. And I will see you ladies soon. And I'll um, put this on Discord.